Houston, we have a problem. There's been a major update for Blender Octane. Let's get straight into it. So again, if you do not have it downloaded, the new version, go to the Otoy website. Make sure you sign into your profile. Once you're in your profile, make sure you click on subscriptions, download the newest version, and make sure you also download the new version of the Octane Prime login. We need both of those. From there, go ahead and log into your Octane Prime. Make sure that is fired up and ready to go. Also, go ahead and click on here, activate it. If it's for the first time for you, you're going to have to sign in with your password and your user ID once you got that activated. If you logged in correctly, you will have this green light here that says Octane is active and used for your Otoy account. Everything went okay. Okay, first thing first, right when you come into the page, normally Octane was always a couple of additions behind, two or three sometimes. But recently, since this last update, I've noticed now it's at, if you look here, 3.61. That's almost like the latest build. So right now, when I saw this, I was like, whoa, something's not right. I thought I just basically loaded up an original vanilla blender, but it's not. Click in the file. Once you get into the file, you're still gonna need to come into your preferences. Go ahead and fire up OCT Octane. Come down to the bottom here. Make sure you checked on Octane Blender. Make sure this is checked. And then from there, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna scroll down to Octane. But before we had our render settings in kernels all right here, you've noticed they've changed. Matter of fact, this is like, it's not even properly set up. This blew my mind. I was like, what's going on, right? You go to file new if you scroll down here now we see at the bottom octane default setup click on that and now it's like it didn't make it any easier it looks a lot more complicated but it's really not basically this is our shader window this is our aov this is how you would do your render passes right and then here is the new section here i'm going to make it larger here is the kernel section so this is where we set up what kernel that we want to use so before I mean, it's already set up here, but I'm going to quickly just close it to show you and set it up again. If you press right here, quick add on tree, boom, it drops in our kernel here. And here is it. And I think this kernel right here, you see it says direct lighting kernel. That's not the one we want to use. We want to use the path tracing one, which is the best one. So what I do is just basically click on this, delete it, shift A, and then basically you go down to kernels. And there it is. Here is all the kernel section that we would switch in the old version. Now it's here in a node base. So we want path tracing kernel, click on that. It's all set up to go kernel out to kernel in boom. Now our kernel is all set up. So from here, what I basically do is I'm going to end up closing all of these windows because this is absolutely nonsense. Now we're going to go ahead and fire up our render and make sure it's working here and go ahead and turn that on. Bada bing. There it is a lot easier to set up now. Also, our color management is all set up and ready to go. We don't have to worry about any of that like we did in the old versions. See raw. Uh, srgb raw it's all ready to go this was the major one right here the major update our path tracing i used to just click right here and change it so now here's all of our settings now if you were coming from a fresh clean start like this and you did not do this setup which you should you should also save that at your startup so you don't have to do that every single time you what you had to do was like when i first caught in here i could not figure out how to get to that kernel see if we go to make sure you're on octane first and then let's say if I go to the shading and if I come into shading, if you click here, now you'll see right here in our section here, we have octane kernels. And then this will allow you to select your kernel. Go ahead and click, click kernel. Again, look, I just showed you it defaults to direct lighting. We don't want direct lighting. Again, just go ahead, delete that. Shift A kernels, half tracing kernel. There it is. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. And then you should be ready to go. Boom. And there it is. So quick and easy way update. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Blender Octane. Let's rock it.